Hey, wonderful people, we are back here today talking about everything Law of Attraction, Manifestation, and the topic of the day is, hey, what about your feelings? Hmm, how do they affect your manifestation? Uh, yeah, don't own them if they are not what you want. Don't own them if they're not what you want. Every thought that comes into your head, it does not have to be owned by you. This is an issue, too, with, I work with people with uh, attention deficit disorder. They get a lot of thoughts in their head, and they own all of them, right? Turn that light off. So they go, turn the light off, because the thought came in their head. And I'm, I, if, I, if I can explain it to them, every thought that comes into your head, it doesn't have to be obeyed by you. Every thought in your head doesn't have to be owned by you either, because if you do own every thought, Every that gives power to the thought and it's whatever will manifest. So if you get a thought that this thing, this goal of yours is not going to work out or you're not going to get healthy again because you're really sick or um, that Christmases aren't for you. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there now. But all this stuff does wind up in our heads. And if you own it, it's yours now. But you don't have to own it. And you can just tell it, no, I'm not, that's, I'm not owning that feeling. That's not real. Because your brain and uh, science is proving now, even your gut, yes, your intestines are telling us things. Um, spiritual people have been telling us for thousands of years that spiritual entities are telling us things. And all these thoughts come into our mind and we, whatever we own, we own. It's a part of us now. It becomes a part of you when you own it. So, and so we come across some horrible beliefs, right? We come, we, we'll see a news show and we'll feel like the world is going to hell in a handbasket. And it's never going to get any better. And if you own that feeling, now you're going to manifest some of that. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and it gets really bad when it gets really personal. And you start to um, think of personal things uh, about your health, about your wealth. That's a big one. A lot of people have that problem. They, they own thoughts like... Okay, so say an example is you're a teenager and you don't have a job. Now you don't have any money. Well, maybe somebody gave you money for your birthday or whatever. And you had some money, so and you felt good, and then you went to the store to get something, and you realize you're broke, baby. You don't have anything. And then you get a thought that, Money doesn't work for me. If you own that, then the universe will show you. Now, money, uh oh, it doesn't work for you, <laughs> at least in the short run, right? So now you'll find you'll get a manifestation like that in the future, probably not too long after that. And then if a thought will probably come to you like, see, I told you money doesn't work for you. And if you own that, now that's your truth too. And now, see, you got now you're in the the loop there where money isn't working for you and it's never going to work for you because it never has worked for me. And then you got this pile of beliefs and desires, even desires, because a lot of the beliefs that we have, we like and we don't want to think that the things that we believe are untrue. So we actually cling to negative things that we believe. So we desire that that those beliefs come true. Desiring that bad things that we believe come true. It's a slippery slope, baby. Don't attach to every thought. Be very discerning. What helps mostly in that is, is meditation. I wanted to say manifestation, but it's meditation. Meditation helps that greatly because what you'll do is thoughts will come to you and they are not from you. 
they are from your brain, they are from your body, the whole body will send, um, will make you feel a certain way and your mind will interpret it as a thought. Like motivation is a big one. You know, your, your body is kind of sleepy in the morning and you'll say, your brain will say, we're not motivated. If you own that, then you're not motivated. You can, you can be sleepy. You don't even have to own that. You could say, no, I'm not sleepy. I have sleep chemicals maybe in my body, but I am not sleepy. I'm raring to go. You probably won't feel it at first, but you can own that truth because that will become true for you very quickly. Owning a thought is a very powerful thing. It's it's like magic. It's like Harry Potter magic, baby. <laughs> when you own a thought, it is you. It is you. It becomes you. It not becomes a part of you. It becomes you. So be very discerning on what thoughts you own and what thoughts you don't own. Meditate so you can um, have a better... Get used to seeing thoughts as thoughts instead of as you, so you don't own them automatically because that's usually what we what we usually do there goes the cat the cat will probably put her tail in the the picture here, here we go <laughs> yeah so meditation will take you down that path very easily and very well and the first thing you will come across when you meditate when you you'll close your eyes and you'll get all settled and it'll feel kind of good and then, oop, cat, your ears are in the picture. Oh, the cat now wants to go otherwise. <laughs> um, yeah, so you'll, you'll feel about different things when you're in meditation, right? You'll be, you'll, be, you'll be in that Zen space. And then your nose will itch. Oh, I'm not going to scratch that. I'm meditating. Then your knee will itch. Oh, I'm not going to scratch that either. Then you hear a weird noise outside. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not looking at that. <laughs> See, those are all those thoughts, by the way, um, your nose itching your or whatever, they were there originally. You're just feeling them now because you're shutting down the noise so that you can hear those thoughts. Those aches, those itches, those things, those that noise outside. You'll you're gonna hear you're gonna hear thoughts that you were that were in the background that's what that is and right off the bat when you get those you're going to realize that those thoughts that these things coming to you are not you you don't own them and you'll get used to seeing thoughts as thoughts almost well outside of you and you are the judge of whether you get to own them or not whether they become you, whether they become your future, because they will become your future. If you own them, they are you. The universe is just a reflection of what you are. And if you own them as you, then that's what you're going to get. And when you stop owning the negative things that you don't even like, good things are going to start happening. And it's, it's inevitable good things are going to start happening because you're going to only be good things, the things you want. Well, right now I'm going to, I think, I feel like the end of this video is coming. Should I own that thought or should I? 